Chilltown is a cozy life sim that brings a lot of features from games like Animal Crossing and Story of Seasons, simplifies them, and then sprinkles in the opportunity to play it idle in the background as you go about your day. It's almost like a desktop wallpaper that you can interact with. Part game, part zen-like decor. Chilltown's Kickstarter, which I backed, recently ended and they surpassed their funding goal. Early access on PC is planned for the beginning of 2024, and I was kindly offered early alpha access, even though they still have quite a bit left to do on the game. I immersed myself into Chilltown for a couple hours, and I am going to share with you five reasons why I think you are going to love this upcoming cozy life sim. Number one, Chilltown is part idle game. You can place your character on autopilot and turn Chilltown into a relaxing background activity while you work, study, or even play another game. In this very early alpha state, the only option is to turn on auto fishing, select a location to fish, and the game then takes control of your character. I'm not doing anything but watching and feeling my stress fade away. This is a really neat feature and one I've never seen in any other cozy game. And I can see this being particularly useful if you need a break from playing, but you don't want to close down the game or while you're watching TV maybe. When you return to active gameplay, you simply begin controlling the character again and the auto fishing ceases. I'm genuinely intrigued by this capability and could see other activities such as bug catching or simply walking around the island work very well for idle play. Secondly is the music. There are currently three different lo-fi playlists that you can access through your character's phone app. And you can even mix these into your own playlist if you'd like. The music is simple, yet accomplishes setting a very chill, relaxing tone while you play. After playing for a while, I noticed that my breathing had become slow and deep and I found myself paying attention to the wind and the water sounds, the music, and just becoming so incredibly relaxed. It was almost emotional at times, which seems weird, I know. It actually reminded me a lot of Palea's relaxing ambiance, just a feeling of being one with virtual nature, if that makes sense. Number three are the pals and pets. There are pets in this game, which I happened upon while chatting with the innkeeper. I was able to adopt an adorable white cat, who I named Paisley because I have a white cat named Paisley in real life, who then followed me everywhere and I was able to pet. According to the Chilltown Kickstarter, the game also contains pals. The pals are the name for the plant-like animals that you can catch for access to special resources, but you can also breed and hybridize them. And no, you can't kill or eat them, you animals you. What do you think this is, Paleo? <laughs> I was under the impression that the pals existed in the wild and we had to find and catch them, kind of like Pokemon, but I didn't notice any during this early alpha gameplay. Though I did see some of them shown on the list of adoptable pets at the inn. So I'm not exactly sure what to expect about this, but I do quite adore the addition of both pets and the collectible breedable critters who follow you around, which makes the idle gameplay even more entertaining. Next is decoration. All the cute little accessories. Chilltown's Kickstarter page boasts over 800 items for decorating your home, which is impressive, but you can also customize your home's exterior as well as houses for the island's residents. For some reason, after my home was built, it later disappeared, and despite restarting the game several times, it remained invisible. Obviously, this is just an alpha bug that the team will fix, but I was able to shop for some of these cute decor items and then place them on the ground formerly known as my housing plot. I mean, I wanted to be as close to nature as possible, right? Money was pretty easy to come by thanks to farming, 
bug catching, fishing, and foraging. So I was easily able to buy pretty much whatever I wanted to decorate my lawn. For those who like to play house and accessorize, there is plenty of that. And finally is the simple gameplay of Chilltown. The simplicity lends itself perfectly for players who just want to do what the name says and chill. The game formula is very familiar. I mean, you even arrive via seaplane. Does that remind you of any game in particular? <laughs> and you engage in predictable farming, bug catching, fishing, and digging activities. The controls are simple and would be perfect for handheld gaming, yet it's only planned for Steam and Steam Deck and not Nintendo Switch, at least not yet. Chilltown is not a game for those who want to be blown away by a dramatic plot or challenged with puzzling secrets. This is a game for gamers who want to have a calm, recognizable sim game that they can understand immediately and leave playing in the background without worry of negatively impacting their game. It's cute, colorful, aesthetically pleasing, a relaxing spa day for your senses, and a place to let the flood of serotonin melt away your stress. So what do you think of Chilltown? Is it a game that you could see yourself playing? Although it is very much still a work in progress and they have some bugs to fix, overall, I'm really digging the cute aesthetic. I love the relaxing music and the chill vibe and the ability to let the game play idle in the background while I'm doing other tasks is really intriguing and I'd love to see how I use that. I am excited to see where Chilltown goes during their alpha and beta releases and to see the progress that they make. If you like cozy chill games, please consider smashing that thumbs up and subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and now without further ado, I present bloopers. I'm really excited to see where chill to I just tripped over my words. And the chill vibe of the game. That was my phone. My notey going off. And I am going to share five reasons why I why. <laughs> On my southern, I'm a southern belle. Why I think you're just gonna love this game. <laughs> Don't mind me.